Okay, everyone, come on in. Today I'm lecturing on the Mongols. Oh, I mean the conquistadors. So, long ago, a man named Hernando Cortez wanted to appropriate new land for the Spanish. Hello, Governor. Do I have permission to take over innocents for their land? Of course not. What are you thinking? But I want to. For the Spanish. Pretty please? Nah. Screw it. I'll, con I'll conquer new land for the Spanish, no matter what it takes. So Cortez was so stupidly dedicated to this that he gathered 100 sailors, 11 ships, 508 soldiers, and 16 horses. Yes, Cody? How did Cortez get 608 crew members? Well, they were all criminals, which would most likely be your future. Anyways, when Cortez arrived... Ah, oh, land. It only took us several months of sailing, a lot of seasickness, and dozens of dead crew members to get here. Whoa! <laughs> Ugh. We need a better ramp. What is going on here? Don't you know who we are? Huh? Just take him down. Hey, get back here. I'm not done killing your kind instead of negotiating for peace. Two hours later. Oh jeez. Oh god. I need a break. They're obviously faster. We also know the terrain better. We have no chance in catching them. No. I won't give up. I am the greatest man alive. I am mighty. I am strong. You are walking off the edge. Huh? Oh! Cortez's army had guns, making them more powerful than the natives. Yes, Cody? Why didn't the natives just ambush them instead of facing them head on? Their knowledge was insignificant compared to the Spanish. Hey, that's like you and me. Anyway, they soon arrived at the village of the natives. Oh, thank God we're finally here. Huh? What's this? Now you realize our strength. Hello, are you the leader of these people? Why did you bring us here? Are all these women mine? Thank you for this gift. Hey, let go of me. I can walk by myself. You, can you understand these people? Yes, I can understand them. Interesting. So can I ask a question to you and your chief? I'm your slave now, so... Are you and anyone here Christian? What's a Christian? Malinali then became the translator for Cortez. Why would Malinali willingly go with Cortez knowing that his crew's filthy? The treatment was not bad. She was an important asset to Cortez. That's like you and your friends. They know you're filthy and haven't showered, but they use you for what you can give. So Cortez makes it his mission to conquer the Aztec lands for the Spanish and make them all Christian. So, this is it, Malinali? Yes, this is the island city known as Tenochtitlan. But why did it have to be so far away? He says, you must be great gods and totally not foreign strangers who come to conquer us. You guys must be mighty warriors. Flashback. Whoa! Oh jeez. Oh god. I need a break. Huh? Whoa! 
End of flashback. Her behavior and your godlike aura is unmatched and stunning. <laughs> Look how strong you are. You even cause your own memories to perish. Uh, uh, itchy, itchy. Uh. This is totally because of your godlike powers and not some disease you carry that we have no immunity to. The Spaniards were treated like gods and were given many gifts. People were sacrificed in their honor. Their treatment was spectacular. Why didn't they see them as enemies like the Aztec people on the beach when they were ambushed? Are they just dumb? Well, they figured out how to use astrology to predict the events and other things. To me, it looks like you're trying to do that because you're always spacing out. Anyways, Cortez was treated like a celebrity, but he didn't really have complete control over the city. We might be treated like celebrities here, but I don't have complete control yet. Also, they seem to be noticing we aren't the gods they think we are. They might turn against us. What do you suppose we do then? I have a foolproof plan. Good job. You started a war between us and Tenochtitlan. What were you thinking? I thought they would kneel before me if I had detained their emperor, Moctezuma, and threatened to kill him. Also, how was I supposed to predict that Alvarado was going to kill hundreds for a ceremonial feast? That was also your fault. Why leave him in charge in your absence? At least we now know why the Aztecs want us dead. We're only winning because of our advanced technology and strategies, and that disgusting disease you gave to them, thinning their numbers. Don't worry, everything's under control. Ah! Oh, look out behind you. Ah! Oh! Ah! Can you be so careless? Okay, okay, okay. Calm down. Once we defeat them, we'll build churches and move on to conquer more cities in the name of the Spanish. So, after Tenochtitlan was under siege for 93 days, the Spaniards finally conquered them. Despite their stupid actions, which led to thousands of deaths and the many Spaniards that were brutally sacrificed. Cortez went on to conquer more of the Aztecs' land. This sparked the beginning of New Spain, later to be known as Mexico. <sighs> huh? Thank you! <laughs> Thank you very much! Well, you guys should be happy because you're gonna hear a lot more on this over the next two months! How does that sound? Hmm? <sighs> I love lecturing.